More closures are happening this week in West Fargo along Cheyenne as the construction season continues. This may not only impact your morning commute, but also first responders getting to emergencies. Valley News Team's Joshua Peguero has more on this issue. Crews working along Cheyenne Street off of the Interstate 94 exit say cars are having a hard time pulling over for emergency responders in the construction zones. The emergency vehicles have nowhere to go. And so we have to try to help them. If we're, if we're around, we try to help them get around the traffic. Since road work began this summer, we've done several reports of the traffic headaches you're experiencing. An incident with a truck, I mean, he had literally stopped. And I had to run out there and kind of guide them out of the way because the, the, the emergency vehicles were right behind them, but couldn't get around. So we try to help them as much as we can. Construction crews acknowledged at a West Fargo City meeting that there will be a hard close of Cheyenne and 32nd this week, further impacting congestion along that street. Residents on the east side of Cheyenne in that Golden Spike edition will now cross Cheyenne at 34th Street to detour to get to their access. When the construction season first kicked off, emergency respondents had initially said response times wouldn't be severely impacted. But a barn fire in May in West Fargo exposed some of the challenges with the road closures. West Fargo Fire Chief Dan Fuller told us at the time that rural fire crews were delayed because of road closures. It, it did add a degree of difficulty. Having the out-of-town companies come in was probably a little bit larger of a degree. After we were initially stonewalled by the city of West Fargo, we heard several 911 audio confirming the delay after we filed several open records requests. For those driving in construction areas, road crews say distracted drivers are the ones causing most of the backup for emergency vehicles. In West Fargo, Joshua Peguero, Valley News Live. North Dakota law requires drivers to move out of the way for an emergency vehicle when sirens are blaring. If you fail to follow that law, you could face a $1,500 fine and a year in jail.